once a lie is told, it metamorphoses, uh, metamorphoses into truth. Truth. Mm. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. Yo, what's up, fam? It's your boy, Ojo GH. And when you see me, you know we on these streets. But Charlie, today, today's setting is very different. Today, you know, be relationship matter. You know, be laughing matter. You know, be joke matter. We are on the premises of Media General. From Koji Sheldon Studios exclusive, we are bringing to you the Galamse Economy Expose. Charlie, we are here to talk to people. We are here to interact with people. We would want to have the ideas about what they think about the Expose and how things are. Hello, boss. Good evening. Fine evening. Yeah, I'm Joe from Koji Sheldon Studios. Please watch your name. Yeah, my name is Koku Mauli Nanegbe. Okay, big boss, I can see you just walked down from watching the expose. First of all, what do you make of it? Um, very disappointing that um, at this state of our country, where people, I mean, pick up appointments to occupy offices in expectation that they are going to work in the interest of the people, and they get to those offices and it's all about themselves. So I am I am really disappointed about the way things are going. And there must be um a change of approach. And and to tell you honestly, I have no sympathy for anybody caught by Tiger IPI and us and his mode of operation. No. I mean, if you are caught, you must face the consequences. Because you see, you are going to public office to serve the people. And in fact, those people who are being caught, in fact, if we check their paycheck, it's huge. And they already know what they are going in for. But to go beyond that and be working in their own interest, I have no 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 apologies. I have no sympathies for them at all. And I'm, I want to urge our nurse to do much more. In fact, they have to take that to, I mean, get all the corrupt people out of the system. I'm all for it. Okay. So you feel this is a right step in the direction? It, it is. Master, you check. Now corruption is getting endemic, and it's becoming a, a daily activity. And for some of us, it is sickening. And this is the only way. I mean, people don't. La- I mean, don't want shame. And for me, this is the only way we'll be able to. And I mean, expose all of those things. And is the is the only way we'll be able to deal with the corrupt people in society. Okay. The president sacked the minister. Yeah. What do you make of that? Do you think it's a right call or you think it's a camouflage of all of these happenings? Um, to be honest with you, um, for the sacking, I mean, there have been a lot of calls for the sacking of the deputy minister, even the substantive finance minister for incompetence. Those uh, calls were not heeded by the president. In fact, he was asking that there are some discussions with the IMF and so it should be given time. Or the minister and the, uh, there's a, uh, I mean, Ken Oforata and Charles Edubahin should be given time to, to do that. And for Anas to do, uh, to do this release and for him to quickly act and, and sack the minister in his uh, finance ministry, I think it, it looks a cover up. Because, but for this expose, there wouldn't have been uh, marching or orders or the sacking of Charles Ufusu, uh, I mean, Charles Edubwahini. So I feel it's, it's a clear case of cover up because, I mean, this thing should have been done long ago. And it, it brings back to the point because since yesterday, when I heard about the sacking of Charles Edubwahin, I have been asking, so what happened to Charles Bissio? Charles Bissio has also been caught on tape about the same thing, receiving money over Galamse, but he's still there. And, and and so I see this one as, as a cover-up because, you see, it's at a point where it, the majority, members of the majority are also asking for the sacking of some of them. So the president is under pressure and felt that he needed to do something to cover him, himself and his government. And for me, that's what I see about the, the entire uh, action of sacking Chase Dubahin. Okay. Going forward, what do you think Anas should be doing right or wrong? Because people are saying this is short they are disappointed because they were expecting more. Mm. Do you think he should continue or you feel he should channel other ideas onto this? Well, um, I am not I am not disappointed in any way because maybe people may uh, might have misconstrued the word galamse uh, to maybe illegal mining. And so they were expecting that he will be focused on illegal mining. But galamse means a lot of things in our local parlance. 
Even Charles Edubo he now have later guarded that even when he was in school in Achimota, his nickname is Galamse. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. You can find out that when Charles Edubahin was a student in Achimota, his nickname is Galamse. So it, it meant a lot of things. And Galamse in our local parlance means quack, quack, quack. and they are talking about the economy. All manner of things, illegalities are going on. So when I I mean saw the headline, it meant a lot of things to me. But uh, if Anas has a lot to um, other things to do. Um, I am saying that if you can go after anybody, if he's a chief executive, it is a, a watchman, if he's a security person, if he's a minister who are all taking bribes, he should go after them. And and for me, uh, I do not know what else people want him to do. I mean, there, 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 there are imp- maybe the attention we have seen some of government appointees, and there is there is a cliche or there is a common saying that. If you want to see the corruption, really, it's in the public service, not in the ministerial uh, portfolio holders, but the public servants, like the chief directors, the directors of finance, and the the MDs, they they really, they are the ones really, really involved in corruption. So maybe he might, uh, his attention to those places, and and maybe um, what we expect, because some of us, we get sick, you get into office to work. To better the lot of the people, and you want to use that opportunity to enrich yourself. It's it uh, it's something that I find sickening, and I'm surprised because Akufado himself, when he was coming to office, he was advising his appointees. In fact, to be appointees, that if you are coming to office to work with him, and your mindset is to make money, go to the par- private sector. And he has come to office, and one a lot is happening, and and no action from him, and so. We expect him to take a lot of action. We need to sanitize the system. The corruption is too much. Investors are complaining about corruption. And you can just imagine, along among the embassies, if you have embassies who are promoting businesses and the businesses will come and be complaining about corruption, would they invest? So what becomes of our investment drive and everything? So that is a real focus. And I'm urging Anas to continue to do this. We have a lot of honor to give to Ahmed Zwale. He was doing all these things and he had been killed. And I know that Anas feel threatened because he's human. Doing all these things. He, can happen. Yes. But we, some of us are behind him. We are praying that God will grant him life. We need more of Anas in the system to do this. Because for me, I think he's the only way we'll, we'll be able to fight corruption in Ghana. All right. Thank you so much for talking. You're welcome. Big Boss, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Okay, so I can see you're just walking from the expose. Yeah. view yeah. what do you make of it please what do you think about the whole galamsey economy expose well i think i think it's a good um, expose i actually expected a very long i mean galamsey expose actually give me the mindset that it's going to be a long expose it was quite short but it's just that i'm very disappointed as a citizen you know as a youth to be specific i mean i don't see where the country is going for leaders of this caliber to i mean have such behaviors in high offices i can only imagine the type of governance we've had for the past six seven years and i think we can see end results of it so i think i'm actually very sad and i know it's going to take a very long time for us to build some courage and hope for for the youth of this country yeah okay so my next question what do you make of the deputy finance minister. Um, some people would argue he's just receiving a token. Yes. Some would also argue it's bribe. Um, whichever way, what do you make of it? Well, like like we all know, Anna's principle. I mean, that's how he usually comes to you. But as a leader, as someone in a very high office, I think you should have some integrity, and you should. I mean. Put yourself at a particular level that some of these things shouldn't get to you. I think being he's a minister of state, right? Yeah. I mean, for finance, I think he stooped too low. I mean, having to <laughs> just, I mean, looking at the video was it was so obvious that he, he obviously, I mean, got carried away because I was surprised when the video started. I mean, their interaction with the sheikh and those are the other person. I think it was quite calm for some time. And when the money was actually put on the table, that was when everything switched. So I was like, wow, this just tells me a person, I mean, of his caliber, who he is, that with money, I think 
he can actually make certain decisions that's not going to favor many Ghanaians, but just for his personal interest. Wow. Um, going forward, what do you look forward to? With uh, since you're saying this is short, yes. are you expecting something else, or you're hoping probably they would be coming out with another expose, or uh, let's say a lengthy one? Yes, yes, I'm actually expecting a lot from Anas. This really tells me a lot about this governors, this government, sorry. And uh, hmm. I expect a long one. There are so many sections, I mean, state departments that I, I think Anas should go into. Let's, let's, let's kill the rot in the system. I think we, the youth, there's so much for us. When, when we see some of these things, it only informs our decisions that we need to make the better decisions when we get to high offices like this. And once we, we start to bring out the rot, I think it's going to change some of them and make them better people in some of these posi positions. So that at least we as Ghanaians wouldn't be struggling as we all see it in, in the economy today. Thank you so thank you so much for talking. Thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> Boss, good evening. Good evening. I'm Joe from Koji Sheldon Studios. Please watch your name. Ohene. Ohene. Okay, Ohene. Um I just saw you walk by and you 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 look very furious. You look very angry. I know you just viewed the expose, the Galamse economy. What do you make of the expose in the first place? Uh, well, what I would say is that in fact everything is very bad very 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 bad because um when you look at even uh, our own brother ami swali you know how can a whole mp or should i say a member of parliament coming out to tell Ghanaians that they should deal with him when they are done i i i myself i will pay it's very very bad this man should have been hold on to now it seems Ghana is always a Ghana. We believe in peace. But yes, the people are using the peace to do things that are not contrary to the peace that we are talking about. So I believe it needs to be held on, but it needs to be taken on. But it seems Ghana is always a Ghana, like I said earlier. <laughs> so, um, and also what did I saw um, concerning about the, uh, our own brother, Edu Boahen also doing certain things. You see, uh, some may take it like, oh, he took it just because uh, a token, using the word token. But I want to pull the attention of Ghanaians that when we talk about token, token does not mean what we saw this evening. You see, so if they are telling us or if he is telling us that it's a token, then I think he's lying. Because you should also bear in mind that we have educated people in town, or should I say in, in, in Ghana as well. So um, for him taking such money, it's very huge, you know. So, and, and secondly, to, did he want to tell us that his salary does not reach him, though we all need money, but then things like this must not go for that. Work hard and get money. Not when you, you pass an uh, illegal way to take something like this. In fact, it is a bribe. It, it is a complete bribe. If if you are not watching yourself, somebody is watching you. Forget about God watching you. But we have other eyes. The tiger eye. I will not mention the way. <laughs>